Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to change the background color of a button using XML as well as using the code. So first of all, I just want to change the background color of this button that is using XML. So here you can use the property that is background tint. In earlier Android version, people are using the background property. Suppose if you are using the background and if you pass here, that is a has, for example, F00, then this background color red will not be affected over here in this button. Why? Because in material design, they have changed the property and the property is background tint. So whenever you write here background tint and if you pass the color that is red, then the color will be changed. So using XML, you can use the property that is background tint. Now, using the code, I want to change the color of this button. So ID of this button is button number two. So you can move to your main activity dot Kotlin file. Here you can write variable b1 is equal to find view by ID. You can cast to button and you can write r dot ID dot button number two. Now, whenever the button is a click, I want to change the color. So here we can write button one dot background tint list is equal to you can call the function get color state list and you can pass the color. So let me write the color that is android dot r dot color dot blue bright. So I'm writing here that is hollow blue bright. Now you can simply run this particular application and you will get the changes into the emulator. See here application is launched. Now color of this button is changed using the XML. Now you can click over here and the color will be changed that is using the code. But whenever I click again, the color is not changed. So what I want to do whenever the user click on this button, I want to change the color. So here we can declare the variable that is variable flag is equal to true. Now here we can write if flag is true, then change the color that is blue bright and we can make here flag is equal to false. If flag is not true, then we can change the color. For example, let me change the color that is android dot r dot color dot orange dark and here we can say flag is equal to true. Now we can run this particular application again. And you will get the result over here. See here, this is the change of the background color using XML and this is using the code. Now, whenever you click over here, the color will be changed. So this is the way you can change the background color of a button using XML as well as using the code. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.